what's it going to take for Juwan Howard's team to get over the hump? To figure out this ball screen defense? You might start with there. We go back to the Minnesota game, Jack. You remember when the Minnesota beat Michigan? Minnesota's not a very good team. They beat Michigan by 10, and they had two assists because Michigan can, cannot uh, defend dribble drive penetration. So they got to figure that out. That's the number one priority. And then they got to figure out who is going to step up and hit the three, but hit, you know, hit some perimeter shots because it's basically Hunter Dickinson and seven role players out there that no one is consistent in hitting the perimeter. Yeah. And it's going to be painstaking for Michigan to make the tournament if someone doesn't step up in that arena. All right, Tom, let's take a closer look at Hunter Dickinson, who's been carrying a heavy burden with the Wolverines. What's different about his game of late? Is he playing his way onto an NBA roster? I think because he got challenged in the offseason, the NBA scouts told him, listen, Hunter, you're going to have to develop that three. Or else, cause he's, he's not, he's slow, Jack and Cynthia. He, this is, his feet are not that good, uh, in my estimation. He kind of skates down the floor. So he's got to hit that three. He's got great hips. He's good inside. Um, but it, and, and I think he was disengaged early on. Remember that Carolina game? He looked like I didn't even want to be there. He got COVID. He got really sick. He got over that. He's recovered from that. Yeah. And he's been pretty strong. He was terrific at Mackey Arena yesterday. Cynthia, let's take a look at U of M's 10 remaining regular season games, including a pair rescheduled due to COVID. At 5-5 five and five in league play, does this look like a 10-10 and 10 team to you? And if so, how will we remember a team that was number six in the nation at the start of the season? You know, it's always interesting because I'm looking at a lot of those. There's a lot of matches against some people that I wouldn't really want to face if I were them. So <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure about what the, the final record is going to be. But it's always, you know, when you have big expectations preseason and you don't meet yeah. them, that's always a disappointment. It doesn't matter kind of where you start. But I, I'm losing my mind how funny Tom is. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk Jim Harbaugh and pro football up next.